Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about the custom media server setup I have here on the NVIDIA Shield. And basically this video is going to be about uh, the TV launcher. That's basically the screen that you're looking at. We have a nice background chosen. And all of these square icons on the front, those are um, able to be set up any different way that you want them to be. They can reference an app. They can also reference a bookmark. And I'm going to show you how it works. Um, we're working off of the NVIDIA Shield. It's been flashed to remove the uh, Shield interface. And basically, it's just running Android 6. I'm also running everything with the, the Re remote. This is the uh, infrared version. Let me see if I can put that on here for you. Look at a little bit. And it does have the backlit keyboard. I really do like it. If you can get a glimpse of that. Uh, has a keypad right there where you would use it just like you would a mouse. And uh, of course, up here you can turn your keys off and on. So that's the setup, you know, using this along with TV Launcher. All of these items are available for us to use for our, our media streaming purposes. So, had some questions, wanted to share how it works, give you a little demo. I think it's definitely worth using if you're looking for something easy to stream your, your media on. So, we have two tabs. I've made one called Media and one called Utilities and Music over here. And uh, you can make as many as you want to access the menu. At the very top left, you'll see those three lines. I'm going to use my, my Re remote and just go up there to the top and click on that. It opens the menu section to TV Launcher and you'll notice you have Back to Home Screen. What's that do? Well, that takes you back to Home Screen. Um, go back into it. Using the Re remote on the right hand side D-pad you can scroll through the options. You can remove ads for $2.99. I haven't done that. The only place the ads show up is in the bottom left hand corner of this section that we're in. Not in the actual menu that you use each day, but in the back end here if you're um, adding or uh, set, changing settings to your theme or whatever. But that's where the actual ads show up. So in my mind, no need to pay $2.99 to remove them. Totally up to you. So you got settings that takes you right to, back to here. We have your options for navigation bar, whether you want to turn that off, on, off or on. Wallpaper, don't have that. You can change your wallpaper, which I have done. If you select it, you would just be able to then go into your gallery. Oh, I have ES File Explorer on, so I could browse to a folder where I have an image stored and add it to this uh, selection, and then it makes that active. I'm going to escape out of that. But you've got various options. Animate your backgrounds, whether you want them on or off. You can send the guy $4.99 to support. And I'll scroll through a few more. Locking the home screen, things like that. Really don't use it on uh, this uh, this device. Four grids, number of columns I have. If you don't want that many or you want more, this is where you would go and change that. Just going left to right changes it. Scrolling back up, the things you probably are going to use, go back to our menu, are managing your sections. So I go up and I hit manage sections. You'll notice this is where I have media and utilities dash music. Those are the only two I have. If I go into that by scrolling down, hitting OK, that's where you can hit enter on the name. That's where I typed in the word media. Okay, again, simple. If you want to change the name of one of your tabs, you just come up there, type what you want, scroll down, hit save. If you want an icon, what kind of icon do you want next to it? Okay, you name it. What color do you want for that tab and what position? Position one is the very first tab. Position two would be the second tab and so forth, however many you want. And if you don't want it any longer, you can hit delete. Very simple launcher here. I'm going to go back to the sections. You'll see those two, and I'll show you how to add a new one. Create new. Hit OK on the re, unnamed. Let's say we want to call this, oh, let's see. No, I'll just call it news. So if you had a bunch of news apps, you were a news freak or something, you want to have an own tab just for news, you would hit news, hit save. I'm going to go back to sections. Back to menu. There's my home screen. Now you'll notice there's media, utilities, music, and news. Okay, so this is what it basically looks like when you're starting a tab and you want to add your own uh, links and so forth. If you go down, you'll, you'll notice that it's now highlighted an area. So taking the, the re, select it with the right finger on the t uh, touchpad, hold down the left button, and now open it. What kind of uh, 
item do I want to add an application, a shortcut, or a bookmark? I'm going to add an application simply by tapping on that. All of my applications come up. So if for some reason I want to put uh, uh, my email. Hit that. Email's been added. Hit escape. Email's now up there. If I want to do another one, tap it. Choose application. I already got most of these in place where I want them. Um, HBO Go. Hit Escape on the keyboard, and there you go. If you want to move things, again, touch in it with uh, the right, right pointer and left click. It allows you to reposition or, or um, choose a different um, logo or background and these here that are prompted those are uh, made by other people with a, a TV launcher and they upload them and if there's any out there that you like you can come down select it it'll prompt you to uh, notice that you've selected it. then hit the apply button and then escape and you notice this is how um, our logo is now changed it's going to open the HBO Go app um, you can do that with any of them just by again right mouse left click you can uninstall this will uninstall the app as well as this item from the screen um, if you create that's where you can actually go and create your own uh, by coming to let's see where you're if I have anything in downloads so if I had for example uh, if this was the FX now app and I had downloaded a nice image from a Google image search or something I could come in and select that you can come in and crop try to size it. It just takes a little work because you have to figure out what size you want to do. Um, and if it's one that you create yourself, you come over to the right hand side here, you give it a title, give it your name, and then you can apply and upload it. Or simply just apply it for your own local use. So I've selected it now. If I escape, you know, now it's FX now. But we know that if I click it, it's actually going to be HBO. I was just showing you how to click a different image. So, go back in here. I'll reset it to default. It remembers it was HBO Go. I like this one over there. If I click and select it, apply, escape. Now we've got that one. So that's the gist of using TV Launcher. It's free. I think you noticed in the background there were some ads popping up. That's the $2.99, and it's basically there it is right there. Good. I can actually show you. That's what you get for $2.99 if you pay it. That goes away. Who cares? It's not on your main menu. That's, you know. Back to home screen. There you go. If you don't like the position of something, if I want to move this uh, item into this position, it's the same story. Put your right mouse, your, your right finger on your uh, pad, bring it up, left click, hit reposition, this selection here. And now, if you notice, it's come up with this little circle at the bottom. It says OK. So if you have a bunch of tabs, you can go up, down, left, or right. I'm just going to hit left. You'll notice it now jumped into this position. I'll hit OK. And then Escape. Now it moved it over. And that can be done on all these where you can move any item any place you want. That's the gist of TV Launcher. Um, I wanted to share because some, some questions have come in. And I think uh, while we did a video on the overall custom media server, we didn't really say what gives you this look, how does it work, how easy is it to deal with or work with. And I, I think it's great. I don't have the interface with the NVIDIA Shield and, and the gaming aspect of it, but again, we just use it for TV. If you have this, you don't really need anything else. So that's my opinion on it. If uh, we're going to end here, I'm going to go back up to the menu. I'm going to manage my sections. I'm going to come down to News. I'm going to delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. Back to my menu, back to my home screen. And we're back to the original uh, two choices that we had. So that's a quick wrap up of uh, TV Launcher. It's free on uh, Play Store. Check it out. I recommend it. We're really enjoying how it works for us. I hope it works well for you. We appreciate you watching. Subscribe, ask questions, share your comments. Let's keep everybody informed on what works for us or what doesn't work for us and, and try to make uh, these shields the best that they can be for all different types of uses. Thanks everybody for watching.